Welcome to this multi-part tutorial series where we will go over some more advanced techniques on how to use anchor points in your project. This series is a follow-up of our basic anchor point series which you can also find on this channel. In this video we will go over on how to create the shoe soles with the help of anchor points. This means that we will go over on how to create the actual base of your sole, how to then derive color from it, and also how to place a pattern inside of it, all using anchor points. So this is going to be quite a fun video and let's dive right in. So, what are anchor points? Anchor points are a powerful feature that lets you reuse a part of your layer stack. This means that you can define a mask or layer once and reference it dynamically in other layers. If you change the anchor point, all references are updated as well letting you work smarter and faster. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to get started by creating the actual indents of our soul first. So for this, this is not very difficult. Just go ahead and add a fill layer. And we want to go ahead and just call this like soul, for example. And honestly, we only really need the color and the height map over here. So we can turn everything else off. And just go ahead and set your height in the minus. And the reason we do this is because we of course want to indent. Now as you can see this completely breaks your model, but don't worry, because as soon as we go ahead and add a black mask, that will fix it. The reason by the way that it, that it breaks our model is because I have my height map turned on. So if you go ahead and go to this little settings box over here, which is your shader settings, and you scroll down, you can go ahead and if you want you can copy my settings. I just have displacement turned on, so that we get actual geometry displacement. So it's just enabled source channel height scale 0.035 and then add some tessellation to it so just so you know it's just like a nice extra detail so for this all we really need to do is we need to start by just painting in like a soul now because this is quite time consuming i will just show you one where i go to my brushes and grab a basic hard brush and then just go ahead and give it like a nice size let's say around five and then you just basically want to paint in the large shape that is going to be indented in your shape in your soul so i'm just going to hold shift and i'm just going to drag it like this and it doesn't have to be super precise yet because we are going to blur this so i'm just going to carefully try and just get like an even distance away from like the end of my soul like this and i know that it might look quite bad but don't worry this will be fixed later here let's say that we do something like uh, this for example over here and then what we can do is we can just paint in this inner center bit. Like you can see over here. Here, let's set my brush size a bit bigger. There we go. So let's say you have something like this. Then what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and go up here and add a filter. And then add a blur. For example, I'm not very good at like painting. So the blur will also once again like help me just improve my shape a little bit more. And like that you could get a shape. Now I did this quite quickly, so what I will do is I will go ahead and I will paint in my shapes and I will then um, improve them also a little bit more because I need to do quite precise painting, but this can take a few minutes. So let me just quickly do that and then we will continue with the tutorial. Here we go. So as you can see, I just paint in like a random pattern in here and if you hold alt and click you can see that this is my mask. So it is very basic just to get like something that looks pretty decent. So what we're going to do now is we are going to give the soul a specific color. This is always nice to just have control over the color. Now for this, we now need to jump into anchor points. So first of all, click on your mask and add a simple anchor point so that we can reference this mask that we just spent time painting. Then if we go ahead and add a new fill layer over here, we can call this soul color and once again, we only need the color and if you want, you can also have the roughness in here. Uh, it's not when you need it, but let's just go ahead and give it like a darker color. Something like this. And maybe make the roughness like a little bit duller. Honestly, the roughness is not that needed in this case. It's just an example. So we can then go ahead and add a black mask. And all we really need to do is we need to reference our anchor point by going down here, adding a fill, going into grayscale and then selecting our anchor point. Now at this point, as you can see, it is not looking very nice. It has like these little stripes and everything. So what we want to do is we just want to go ahead and play around with our levels. 
For example, by pushing our black levels down and our white levels up until we get a pretty nice even color over here. There we go, that's looking pretty good. And that is already it for our color. So that's really nice about the anchor points, that we just have control over our levels on top of it. So, let's get started with the thing that we all came here for, which is our patterns. Let's go ahead and create one more fill layer that we will call pattern. And now with this one, I once again, I think I only need my height and I need my color. Now, one thing I do want to do is I want to go ahead and first of all, set my height in the minus. It will not make much sense just yet, but set my height in the minus, then add a black mask. And once we have our black mask, we want to go ahead and go from base color up here to height. And you want to set this pattern specifically to be in the max, light and max. So this will make the transition a little bit better. And this will also only allow our pattern to go up and not go down. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and we can start by adding our actual pattern. And to do this, we simply want to go ahead and let's add a fill. And this fill is not for our anchor point. Because what you can do with this fill also is you can insert like a grayscale image. So if we go to textures, there are a lot of patterns in here. See here, you can see a lot of them. And I know that this one is quite nice, like the fabric diamond alternate. So I'm just going to drag this one on. I'm going to boost up my scale to around 10 so that it is a lot smaller. As you can see over here. So now we got something like this. And with this one, we can just go ahead and we can go up here and we can play around a little bit more with our height. See? Now, as you can see, this looks really, really bad right now, but don't worry. What we're going to do now is, first of all, let's add a nice little blur. So let's add a filter with a blur. And this one will be specific so that our shapes, you see, so that we can make our shapes a little bit nicer. Like that. And then, finally, we need to, of course, mask it out so that it is not being included in the rest of our shoe and only on the insides of our sole over here. The way that we can do this is we can add a simple fill and reference our anchor point, which is our sole mask over here. And then you just want to set this fill to be a multiply. And then you can already see it working. So at this point, all you really want to do is you just want to go ahead and play around a little bit more with your levels maybe. Here you can see that the transition is pretty good, but you can use your levels to basically make the transition a little bit better. So let's go for something like, yeah, like something like this, I think looks quite nice. And then it is just up to you to play around with your blur to see how much of a blur you want to give it. And also to play around with your height. As you can see over here to just give it like a nice height. You can also push it out if you want. But let's just go ahead for like quite a subtle height like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, of course, if you want to go ahead and you want to give this pattern also a color, you can always go ahead and go into your pattern, add another anchor point, and then let's say that we like, for example, add another la layer and call this pattern underscore color. And let's give this like something interesting. So let's make the roughness. Yeah, let's actually keep it a bit shiny. Let's go for like a yellowish color. I don't know. Yeah, like a nice yellow color. And then all you need to do is once again, a repetition of your soul color, add a black mask, add a fill layer to the mask. And this time in your anchor points, just grab your pattern mask. And then once again, it is just a matter of playing around over here with your levels to get it the way that you want. And just like that, you can also play around with your pattern and you can always go back in and like change it a little bit if you want. So that's the cool thing about this. You can create any color you want. Uh, you can have like a lot of flexibility with this just to create something interesting. And that is about it for this tutorial. I hope that you find it useful and I hope to see you next time.